Hi, Achim here from Space Explorers. Sorry to all my regular followers. It's been probably the longest break I ever took uh, in making these videos, I think three or four weeks, but uh, there's some private things going on that um, make it difficult at the moment. Plus, as you probably see me first time in glasses, I had a bit of an accident um, in the workshop that uh, affected my right eye. So um, focusing on stuff is really hard. And that's one of the reasons I'm a bit late. So um, today I want to talk about op um, open circuit ascents on rebreathers. The reason, I mean, first of all, I've been thinking of this for a while, but I got this message uh, from somebody, doesn't matter what the name is and where he's from. But he told me that he's a rebreather diver for about three years. Um, he did a solo dive. We don't want to discuss that either. <clears throat> With this rebreather too, about 40 meters. And that he started to feel not good. And he did the right thing. He bailed out. So um, he bailed out on a circuit and started an ascent. And at about 30 meters, he lost his buoyancy control and shot to the surface. So fortunately enough, um, he got away with that. So he didn't get the bends or anything. So obviously <clears throat> he wasn't there for a long time and uh, he managed to exhale and everything. So no damage to the guy, which is good. And he, he said he, uh, yeah, he's, he's unaware of why and this and that and if I have an idea. So first of all, that is obviously an indication that his rereader training uh, was really, really bad because uh, that is an essential that should be there. And um, this video is not necessarily uh, for, for rebreather users because naturally everybody that's diving a rebreather now should be like, um, I got that in my in my course and I'm aware what, what's wrong there. So um, I received that question before, but always from people that are not rebreather divers and they were wondering, and uh, so, yeah, if you have um, a rebreather and you're rebreather trained and you don't know how to do that, then you should question your course and your instructor uh, because that's an essential and obviously important to know. So what happens? Um, you have an issue with your rebreather, you bail out. So that's obviously always right. So if in doubt, bail out is the old saying, and that's correct. If you feel something is wrong, you switch to open circuit and end the dive make it back to the surface. So when you make it back to the surface and you're not on your rebreather, that rebreather is a gas space. Uh, I don't want to say air space, but it's a gas space. So it's basically, basically the extension of your breathing system. So it's like a lung as well. And what happens if you go up, it expands. So depending on the type of rebreather, unfortunately, the, the guy that wrote me the email didn't say what rebreather he was diving. But the gas in the rebreather will expand to a certain amount and then obviously there should be an overpressure valve that lets the excess gas out so the thing's not exploding. Nevertheless, if you, let's say, switch to open circuit when that rebreather is only partially filled, let's say, I don't know, to 25% or something like that, so one, one fourth of its volume, then that will expand and at a certain point it will be full, which all obviously means it produces lift. So it makes you more buoyant. And there's only two things you can do. If that would be a very small amount, you can compensate that by letting gas out of your wing and your dry suit. At that point, you shouldn't use your dry suit for buoyancy control, but obviously it expands as well. So, I mean, if you let out more gas than you would normally do, you could probably compensate for that, which is very unlikely because that volume probably is a couple of liters and you can't compensate for that. So the only thing you can do is you need to let out gas from that rebreather. So you cannot simply just switch to open circuit, either with a BOV or take the DSV out of your mouth and go on a, on a regulator and then forget about the rebreather. You have to make sure the expanding gas of that rebreather is going out. So what I would do is always when I make a stop in my ascent, I would handle that rebreather. So if you think about other videos explaining the 40 second stop, so you're going up in a, a speed of three meters per minute, it, you can always dump gas from that rebreather. So if you take that loop out and you have it above you, you can always open a little bit up and let gas out close it down 
um, if you have over the shoulder counter lungs you can probably squeeze them down so I'm not a big fan of that anyway I'm not of the squeezing but of the over the shoulder counter lungs so if you have back mounted lungs you can do that if you have counter lungs that are somewhere in the rebreather like for example on a KISS classic you can't do that either so you have to get rid of that gas in another way the other thing that could happen is why did you lose your rebreather maybe you flooded it <clears throat> so if that thing's flooded probably there's no issue in in gas uh, expanding because there's no gas in it but then it can be damn heavy which means you probably have to compensate in another way which is easier because you blow up your wing you probably add a little bit more to your dry suit if the wing's not enough which it should be if there's proper equipment set up but that also could affect your buoyancy and then obviously there's rebreathers that keep adding gas so if you have an electronic rebreather that rebreather probably thinks like hmm that PO2 is dropping so I shoot more PO2 into the system to maintain a PO2 because it doesn't know you're not breathing from it if you're diving a KISS or a similar rebreather that is injecting oxygen on a constant rate obviously it is injecting oxygen and is creating even more volume so you need to turn down the oxygen preferably also the diluent if the diluent is not feeding your uh, buoyancy device think about that um, if it is a constant um, flow rebreather like the old Draga uh, Ray or the Atlantis Dolphin whatever they're called they are feeding in constantly right um, obviously they also have an overpressure valve but this will always be fed up to a maximum so obviously that is the problem and um, so you have two things to consider the rebreather putting more gas in that you can actually uh, prevent by turning off the oxygen because that's normally the gas that is putting in so it will not in, in inject any diluent if the gas is expanding um, and the second thing is you have to uh, get the gas out of this loop so this depends very much on the type of rebreather you're diving so if you have to uh, go through the DSV BOE and just like open up the loop and let excess gas out if you can squeeze it out if there's an overpressure valve that you can open up all the way so there's no universal um, solution for that because it really depends on the rebreather so <clears throat> if this gentleman uh, that wrote me this uh, message um, is kind enough to come back to me uh, and let me know what the rebreather is then I can give a little bit of a more detailed answer and I can also put that uh, in a video if uh, that is of interest but other than that we are happy that uh, this guy made it out safe and uh, I uh, I'm very open for other questions and ideas and stuff. Um, there will be a video very soon about this um, November safari to the Philippines. You probably saw the announcement. This blew up for a couple of reasons. It's not going to happen. So we postponed it for one year and I'll release uh, and we'll set it up in a little bit different way. It's the same boat. It's the same era. We'll go to Koran wreck diving. Um, but um, yeah, um, so more planning time ahead so it will be a little bit more than a year and um, should make it easier for people um, and uh, we scaled it down a little bit so it also got a bit cheaper but there will be an extra video about that and uh, then hopefully we can uh, get that done in 2024 other than that stay safe take care of yourself and i see you in the next video most probably next weekend bye bye